All right, um, just thought I'd do a quick little tutorial on the Lexicon 480L and its remote control. And I, uh, I say that because the actual CPU uh, for the Lexicon 480L is behind me in the rack. No need to look at that because there's nothing on it at all except for maybe the power switch. It's a four rack space CPU, end of story. Connected to it is the remote control. And this has become a classic. It's, uh, it's been in recording studios for decades and consoles proudly display the Lark Lexicon alphanumeric remote control. So you'll see this in many a picture of someone's proud console. Anyway, um, it's a time-based processor and, uh, and makes some of the most gorgeous reverb ever. And uh, I thought I would just show you, whoops, sorry. I thought I would just show you how to get around the, the time-based processor, change programs, essentially. Uh, and maybe we'll adjust uh, the RT60 as well, one parameter. All right, so uh, you'll see right now that what we've got happening is the large hull. It happens to be bank one, program one. So I started with the very first of the first. And you can see that I've got some input signal coming into the unit. Um, I've got an AugsMaster output in the patch bay patched to the single input of the, of the box. It actually has more than one input, but, uh, but right now I'm just hitting one input. Okay. Um, now, to, to look at what your options are, you start with banks. Okay, so I'm going to start scrolling through banks. And the very first bank is a bank of halls. And you'll notice that at that moment, BK1, bank one, starts flashing. And what that's saying is, is I'm not going to change anything. I, I haven't changed, I'm not going to change programs on you, but I'm going to let you scroll. And until you actually start hitting numbers over here, nothing changes. But you're, you're allowed to scroll even while you're working on using a, a, a previous program. All right. So that's halls. What else, what other choices do we have? Again, I'm hitting the bank button again, and now I see, oh, I've got a whole bunch of different rooms that I could choose from. Bank two. Wild spaces, where the wild things are. Plates, this is popular. Plates, of course, refers to uh, older uh, analog reverbs uh, that existed, uh, plate reverbs that uh, existed uh, as, many decades ago that are very popular in terms of their sound, 60s, 70s, even 80s music. Okay, so that's it. I mean, there are more banks. I'll scroll through them quickly. Effects, sampling, that's lots of fun. Pitch, probably wild stuff. So what else, you know, make your world spin. But voila, I'm back to bank one, halls. And again, I've changed nothing since we've started the video. Once you reach a bank that you're interested in, let's say you're interested in the halls, then you can start looking at the different programs within that bank. And the way you do that is start toggling the program button. So program one is a large hall. Large plus stage. A medium hall. A medium plus stage. Small hall. Small plus stage. Large church, that sounds good. Small church, hey church. Um, jazz hall, auto park, I don't know. Okay, we're back to large hall. Now, just for grins, let's change banks. Rooms, let's see what kind of rooms we would have to choose from. A music club, a large room, medium room. A very small room, a large wood room and so on. Okay. So wild space is not let's I think I've I've done enough. Let's pick one, okay? So let's say we want that large hall. That was bank 1, program 1. So here's how I would go and load that program and actually change whatever was previously loaded. Bank 1 right away takes me to halls. Program one, set up loaded. That was the key. It just loaded the new choice, which was large hall. 
Okay. Um, uh, I think I'll... Uh, can I... Yes, can I see you guys again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there is a human in the room. Just making sure that you remember that I'm still teaching the class. Um, actually, my hand was in the video the whole time. Um, uh, Cameron, do you agree? Yes. Oh, <laughs> all right. So, um, um, okay. Uh, last but not least... Let me show you how to change the RT60 or the reverb time of whatever particular reverb you've loaded. Be quick and easy, all right? So back to the unit, reminding you that we're in the large hall. Bank one, program one was the way that we did that. In fact, I'll just do that one more time for you. Bank one, program one. Bam, okay. You guys, I've just solo to snare drum and you can hear that I've got a ton of reverb on the snare. Here's how I changed the RT60. It's this very first fader and the button right below it. You'll see that when I hit the button my, my screen up here changed and it says reverb time mid is 2.19 seconds. Let's say I think that's too long. Remember, this is not going to change how much reverb I have on the snare. It's going to change the length of the reverb, the reverb time. So you grab the little fader, get its attention, and I'm going to scoot it all the way down. 0.22 seconds. Basically, this sounds like a gated reverb. Or I could go to the other extreme. Mad mothers don't let people drive drunk. So using the fader here, you can adjust your reverb time. A, re a reasonable time, two seconds, 1.8 seconds. I seem to find myself there an awful lot. And that's the end of this very long video.